Hello everyone, my name is Nitin Krishna and I am studying first B.Tech second semester of CSE from JNTU Anantapur and I am going to discuss about how to count the number of nodes in a binary tree which is also called as counting binary tree. So let's get started. Before moving on to our topic, we should understand what is a binary tree means. Binary tree is a tree data structure which will have utmost two children. Every binary tree will have one root node, its own parent node and height of tree. If you look at this image, alphabet A is known as root node which is the base of the binary tree and which is also parent of B and C and the nodes which doesn't have any children are known as leaf nodes and we can see alphabet D where it doesn't have any, any children so it is known as leaf. Let us discuss about the binary tree representation. A node of a binary tree is represented by a structure containing a data part and two pointers to other structures of the same type. If you look at the bottom left corner of your screen, this is how we are going to create a node for binary tree in C language. Types of binary tree. There are five types of binary tree. And if you look at this image, there are five types full, complete, degenerate, perfect, and balanced. If you come to the full binary tree, full binary tree is a binary tree in which every node has zero or two children. And in complete binary tree, it has all levels completely filled with nodes except the last level, and in the last level, all nodes are left side as possible. In degenerate binary tree, which is a binary tree in which every parent node has only one shell node. And perfect binary tree is binary tree in which all internal nodes have two children and all leaf nodes are at same depth or same level. And finally balanced binary tree. It is a binary tree in which height of the left and the right subtrees of every node may differ by most at one. So why binary trees are useful? They are very useful for very efficient searching and sorting. This is a tree that allows for search, insert, delete on a sorted data. It also finds closest item to it. Before moving on to our algorithm, we should understand what is tree traverses. Unlike linear data structure which are array, linked list, queues, tags, etc. which have only one logical way to traverse them, trees can be traversed in different ways. Following or generally used ways for traversing trees, they are in-order traversal, pre-order traversal, and post order traverses. Before moving on to the binary search trees, we should know what is an in order traversal means. In case of binary search trees, in order traversal gives nodes in non decreasing order. To get node of binary search trees in non increasing order, a variation of in order traversal where in order traversal reversal can be used. For example, in order traversal for the below given figures. To solve this, we need to check the most bottom node uh, which is at left side which is 4 from from most bottom right node which is 3 which is 4 2 5 1 3 and that's it algorithm if the tree is not empty then it will get the size of the left tree in recursive manner and after that it will get the size of the right tree in recursive manner Finally, it will sum up left and right with 1, that is, which will totally look like this. Or else, if the if condition is wrong, it will simply return 0. This is the recursive function for counting nodes. Where you can see, the same algorithm is applied to the C program code. We should know how the algorithm will work. So, let us look at this binary tree, where 70 is the base of the binary tree and the children of 70 are 60 and 80. Mm, if you look at the 60 and 80, 60 and 80 are ha also having children. 60 is having 55 and 65 as children and 80 is having 75 and 85 as children. And now we should add numbers to the binary nodes. So in main function I am going to write like this and after adding all nodes if you call the size of root function, 
then the output will be 7. Now let us understand how the algorithm will work. If you look at the picture of the binary tree, there are some numbers which can be understandable within a minute. And this is our code. First, 70 enter the function. It will check 70 is empty or not. As you can see, 70 is not empty. Then the function will return 1 and move to the size node to left, which is size of 60. At the left node of 70, the node does not have null, so it will return 1 and moves to 55. Now, at 55, the left node, which has value, so it will return 1 and tries to check left and right of 55, which are also null. So, it will return 1 plus 0 plus 0, which is 1 to 60. After checking all left subtrees of 60, it will move to the right subtree of 60, that is 65. As 65 is also similar to 55, it will return 1 to 60. And 60, all left and right subtree of 60 will gather up and return 3 to the 70 node. After completion of the left subtrees of 70, the function will call the right side of 70 which is 80. At 80, which is not null, will return 1 and move to 75. As 75 is the next node which is similar to 55 and 65, which will return 1 to 80. After checking 75, it will return to 80 and it will move to the right node, which is size of 85. 85 is also leaf node which sends 1 to 80. 80 sends 3 to 70 node. This will all sum up and return 7 to the main function where the function was called. Now, if we talk about the time complexity of counting binary trees, which is very similar to the in-order traversals, where in-order traversals or depth to first traversals, for a graph, the complexity of depth to first traversal is O of n plus m, where n is number of nodes and m is number of edges. Since a binary tree is also a graph, the complexity of each of these will be O of n plus m. Since the number of edges that can originate from a node is limited to 2 in the case of a binary tree. The maximum number of total edges in a binary tree is n-1, where n is total number of nodes. The complexity then becomes O of n plus n-1, which is O of n. Finally, the time complexity of counting binary trees is O of n. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for JNTU Anantabu for giving this opportunity.